Hey guys, sorry I'm back with another video. I'm here to do another tag. Yes, here to do another tag. Uh, not movie related this time. I did a, a movie tag uh, quite recently. I was tagging my good friend, WWE Fan at 599. And here I am doing uh, another tag video. And uh, I gotta say, uh, I wasn't actually tagged by this guy uh in fact i saw his tag video and i was like oh man i really want to do this video and i was like uh, uh, can i do it anyway and he was like sure why not so i'm still gonna credit him for tagging me i really want to credit someone for tagging me so link to his uh tag video in the description below anything go show check him out great dude uh and he's very friendly too very nice guy uh, and this, what is this tag, may you ask? Well, that is uh, WWE Fan Challenge Tag. Yes, this is a wrestling tag this time. Um, you know, I really always want to do like a wrestling tag, you know. Uh, just, you know, and I finally have the chance to do it, basically. So, uh, that will be pretty sweet. And I'm, I'll... There are a few people on the tag. I do. I will write down who I'm gonna tag in the description. I also wrote all the questions down below. There's 20 questions uh, for this tag, and uh, I'll say who I want to tag uh, at the end of this video, like I usually do. Uh, uh, but uh, oh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Uh, yeah, I'll tag uh, people at the end of the video, even though you can see who I'm tagging in the description below anyway. Uh, I, I forgot what I was going to say, guys. Uh, maybe it was that, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, anyway, we're going to go on with the questions now. Uh, like I said, the questions are down below. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, there's 20 questions, so I'm going to be go in depth, somewhat in depth with all these questions, you know, so, uh, uh, bear with me here, so, I love giving in depth answers to questions, so, <laughs> anyway, getting on with it now, question number one, how long have you been watching wrestling? I've been watching wrestling since, I actually know the exact date I became a wrestling fan, I'm not joking, and I'll explain how I know, just a sec, that date is April 25th, 2009. Yes. How do I know, may you ask? Well, I know because it was my cousin's birthday. Yes, it was his 14th birthday, I believe. And I was 10 at the time, so of course I'm younger than him by quite a bit. But, um, yeah, that's how I know the exact date. And what exactly happened that prompted me to become a wrestling fan? Um... I think we watched uh, a bit of wrestling on TV actually, and I really liked it. Then uh, we played uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, uh, which I freaking loved. <laughs> but at the time, I sucked. My cousin, he didn't even tell me how to play the game. Dick. <laughs> you know what I mean. And uh, so I got destroyed by him. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, this, I like that game a lot, but yeah, that's how I know uh, the exact date I became a wrestling fan. Been a huge fan of wrestling since, and ever since, it's actually been my dream job. Yes, to become a professional wrestler, which I plan on doing this year, actually. So, And I'll get more onto my dream job in just a bit with another question. You know what I mean, so bear with me here. Alright, question two favorite superstar of all time I'm gonna go with John Cena you guys if you guys know by now yeah John Cena is my favorite wrestler of all time he's just heel of face I love him okay he's such an inspiration to everyone uh, kids and maybe even teenagers especially I will always be a John Cena fan uh, uh, I really don't care about the haters, okay, and currently he's up with injury, so, uh, 
yeah, but say my favorite wrestler, superstar, sorry, is John Cena. But that's of all time. As for my favorite superstar currently in uh, the WWE right now, who is not a part timer or injured, uh, because uh, you know I want to say someone who's still actively wrestling at the moment, who is signed. There are other rest. There are a couple wrestlers I actually like a lot more than this particular wrestler, but they're injured or part timer. You know what I mean. And the rest I'm going to say for this particular thing, thing of a jig is Roman Reigns. Yes. I'm actually a big Roman Reigns supporter. I love Roman Reigns. He's like, uh, he's been having great, great matches uh, ever since uh, WrestleMania last year. I think he's really growing as a, as a singles competitor. I mean, he had great matches against... Great Wyatt, Hell in a Cell, uh, even some great TV matches like his match against Cesaro uh, back in November. That was excellent. Uh, PLC match against Sheamus, very good. Uh, Survive Series match against Del Rio and Dean Ambrose. Those matches were really good too. Uh, the 2016 Royal Rumble match, awesome. Fast Lane Triple Threat, awesome. And he is going to have an epic match against Triple H at WrestleMania, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, out of my top five uh, current wrestlers right now, he's actually only number four. Sorry. Yeah, Roman Reigns is actually my fourth favorite current wrestler. But like I said, I, I wanted to say someone who isn't injured or uh, a part-timer. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, that answers that question. Uh, then we have the... Question number three. Favorite diva. Uh, of all time, uh, I'm going to have to go with Lita. I mean, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of women's wrestling, but... Lita, she had pretty uh, sweet matches, uh, even on Raw. Uh, first, first out of two divas, of course, to main event Raw. The other being Trish Stratus, which is also a very good diva. Uh, Lita, awesome diva, has great matches. Uh, I don't want to talk go on for too long, uh, but my favorite diva currently uh, wrestling right now, uh, I would say one of the four horsewomen. It's just that, like they've been having so many matches lately and getting rather stale, if you ask me. You know what I mean. So I'm gonna go. I'm going to say this one based off of looks, basically. <sighs> Fuck. Ignore the noise in the background, I'll just wait for it to stop. Or at least go quiet. Any fucking time now. <laughs> yeah, favorite diva currently on right now. I'm going to go with Paige. She's so hot. I even jacked off to her a few times. But uh, she has uh, pretty good matches too. Even has uh, a great character. And I'm really enjoying her right now. I mean, uh, I don't know if she's uh, currently... Uh, uh, she, hasn't, she hasn't really wrestled much lately. Uh, at least not on pay-per-views anyway. But, uh, you know, she's still around. Still doing good. Good for her. I'm going to go with Paige as my favorite current diva. So, that's that. Uh, okay. Then we have uh, question number four. One independent wrestler you want to come into WWE or NXT that hasn't already been in. This was actually pretty easy for me. I'm going to go with uh, Nigel McGuinness. That dude, he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Nigel McGuinness. Just watch his match against Brian Danielson at Unified 2006. It was magic. Oh my god, the dude just turned 40, which is amazing. Like, being that's actually pretty young for someone who's had so many great matches. He wrestled in TNA actually as Desmond Wolf, which uh, was a pretty stupid name if you ask me. Uh, if he was in WWE, they probably would have given him a better name, but uh, yeah, the dude, he's awesome. He's from England, I believe, and yeah, I'd have to say Nigel McGuinness. He's my, 
I believe he's my 10th favorite wrestler of all time. I don't know. I might have to do the list again, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Nigel McGuinness. Uh, I would have gone with Christopher Daniels uh, as well, but that's another great one. But I I'm just going to go with Nigel McGuinness because he's the man. Love Nigel McGuinness. Always will. All right, question number five. How many WrestleManias have you been to? If none, which would you want to go back and attend live? Uh, I've never been to a WrestleMania. Sorry, I'm from New Zealand, of course, so that's pretty tough for me. But uh, I'm really hoping to go uh, to WrestleMania 33 next year, 2017. That's going to be epic because uh, most likely I I I'll have my job by then that gets paid tons and I'll be able to fly over to Orlando, Florida with my best friend, my real life best friend, you know what I mean? And uh, I hope I do. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. But uh, yeah, I've never been to a WrestleMania before yet. Yeah, and to go back in time to attend one, I'm going to go with uh, WrestleMania 30. I love WrestleMania 30. If I was at that show live, I would have been happy for the rest of my life, basically. That show, just, just if you were able to see the streak end live, that would have been legendary. I mean, oh my god, I don't know how I could have, like, kept up with the show if, if I was there when the streak ended. That would have been, because I was, I actually watched WrestleMania 30 live on pay-per-view back when it happened a couple years ago. Uh... And I was just pacing the floors, going back and forth between the computer and the living room TV. You know, is the streak really over? I was like, how? How is it over? Yeah, WrestleMania 30, and it would have been awesome to see, like, the Battle Royal 2 and a lot of other fun, awesome stuff. And it would have been awesome to see my favorite wrestler of all time, John Cena, there, of course. Uh, so, yeah, WrestleMania 30, by far the WrestleMania I would love to go back and attend live. Um, a WrestleMania 28 too, that would have been awesome to go to live. Uh, but uh, I know you you probably like, uh, like why would you say though, why would you say those WrestleMania, why wouldn't you say WrestleMania 17 or 19? Well, the reason why I wouldn't say WrestleMania 17 is because I was only two when that show happened. So I wouldn't have been aware of what I was looking at. So attending that show at two years old would have been a rather like kind of pointless if you ask me if I can't really like see or remember anything from it. <laughs> That's why I'm not going to say 17. But uh, yeah, WrestleMania 30, I would love to go back and attend that show live. I love that show to death. Uh, as you guys know, I'm currently doing... WrestleMania reviews, and I'll be reviewing that WrestleMania, of course, uh, sometime in the next few days or week, depending on which WrestleManias would have been reviewed at that time, but you guys know what I mean, so, yeah, I'm gonna go with WrestleMania 30 as the, sh the WrestleMania, I would love to go back and attend live, so yeah. Uh, question number six. Next. NXT superstar you want to see caught up in 2016. Finn Balor is an obvious choice. I would love to see him come, but for me, I'm gonna go with Samoa Joe. Cause just Samoa Joe, man. I've got he's probably my favorite indie wrestler of all time. Uh, for his matches against Kenta Kabashi and uh, CM Punk alone, those two matches are just oh my god, and the and the the stuff for TNA was amazing too. Uh, I'm gonna call him the greatest Samoan wrestler of all time, even over The Rock. Okay, I'm gonna go that far. Um, yeah, I I'd say Samoa Joe. I I I I don't watch NXT though. I'm sorry. I just uh, I, I I want to watch shows that can be put on DVD and Blu-ray later on. You know, it's just that so. Yeah, I don't really want to watch it right now until until they release home videos of NXT, like, all the time, so. Uh, 
that's kind of why I don't really plan on watching TakeOver Dallas, even though people say how amazing a show it's going to be and stuff. You guys know what I mean, so yeah, I'm going to go with Samoa Joe for that, um, for that question, so yeah. Uh, then we have question number seven. Alright, here's the one answer you're going to go so nuts about, in a good way. And question number seven, Dream WrestleMania main event. As you guys know, my dream job is to be a professional wrestler. Alright, my dream WrestleMania main event is me in the main event of WrestleMania against another wrestler who is young also like a good newcomer to WWE who is loved by lots in the main event of WrestleMania for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. That's my dream match. Me and the WrestleMania 30... Uh, oh, sorry, I was about to say 32. In whatever WrestleMania... Yeah, me uh, in the main event of WrestleMania against uh, like another... Uh, as popular superstar but I want to be slightly more popular than the other one <laughs> uh, it's a rather e egotistical thing to say but uh, uh, like and I want it to be the rock and stone cold of the next generation that's my dream WrestleMania main event by far as for actual wrestlers who have been at WrestleMania uh, probably CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan. Yeah, because their match at Over the Limit 2012 was just sick. But uh, I'm going to go with me versus another equally uh, popular superstar in the main event of WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. Part of the same generation, too, preferably. Uh, so, yeah, that's got to be my dream WrestleMania main event. Question number eight favorite non WWE promotion? Uh, even though they kind of suck now, they were awesome in 2004, 2005, 6, 7, and 2010. I'm going to go with Ring of Honor quite easily. They're the best uh, indie wrestling company, uh, arguably of all time. Th those guys are just, oh my god, just technical wrestling at its finest just man um, I'm gonna go with Ring of Honor I haven't seen too many of their shows uh, I've seen a couple uh, I've seen Man Up from 2007 which is awesome uh, Death Before the Sun 8 awesome that's like the rest of me 17 of indie shows basically uh, Joe vs. Punk 2 I've seen that show too uh, uh, Joe vs. Kabashi I've seen that show too uh, Final Battle 2005, I've seen that show too. Unified 2006, I've seen that show too. You get the picture. A couple of uh, uh, Glory by Honors I've seen too. But uh, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. So, yeah. Ring of Honor. Mostly because of their early work. Um, so, yeah. And uh, I've watched a couple TNA. I'm not a big TNA fan at all. Those guys really suck now. <laughs> I mean, but whatever, we can move on now, can't we? To the next question, I mean. Uh, to the next question, question number nine, favorite style of wrestling? Uh, technical wrestling, easily. We've had so many of the greatest matches that were technical wrestling matches. Too many to name, that's all I'm going to say. Next question, question number ten. How many wrestling shows have you attended? Oh my god. None. Zero. Uh, I am from New Zealand. Like I said, WWE hardly ever comes here. Why? Uh, it might not be the worst thing in the world though, because WWE is actually coming back to New Zealand in August. Hopefully I can go. I, I better go. And, uh, uh, I don't think John Cena will be there, most likely because of injury, like I said, like, as we know, but, uh, 
you got Roman Reigns will be there, Kevin Owens will be there, AJ Styles is going to be there. That's going to be pretty sick. Chris Jericho even. Uh, so I hope I can attend. You know, I should go. I should go. I should maybe talk to my folks about it and tell them better go. Better go. Cause, and like I said, I'm hoping to attend WrestleMania next year as well. Uh, so yeah. That's my answer to that question. Question number 11. Which PPV, which pay-per-view do you want WWE to bring back? Uh, I really don't know. Technically, it's still on right now. But I'm going, I'm going to go with Extreme Rules. I know it's actually still on. I'm talking about Extreme Rules when it was the, the shit. Extreme Rules 2011. Extreme Rules 2012. That, that's how you do a follow-up show to WrestleMania. Especially when, it, especially when they both became better shows than WrestleMania. That's hardly unheard of. Just... Extreme Rules, make it awesome again. Make it epic again. Extreme Rules should have, like, pretty much the same card as WrestleMania with gimmick matches added. 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 You know what I mean. Then the show will be epic. That's all I gotta say. Like, you know what I mean. Just, uh, even though... I kind of cheated with this, with my answer. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, so, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, answer that now. Uh, question number 12, will, will we ever have an NXT TakeOver, Raw, SmackDown, or a pay-per-view? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't even watch NXT, so I don't know. I can't answer this question. I'm, I'm sorry. So, yeah, uh, question number 13, uh, this match is, uh, kind of invalid now, because it's already been confirmed, but question 13, will Daniel Bryan wrestle another match in WWE, that is a no, because he announced his retirement last month, actually, which is unfortunate, uh, I don't want to get too into it, you guys know the whole thing, basically, so yeah. Next question, question number 14, do you consider TNA as the number two or another promotion? I, I do understand what this question means. If you asked me uh, five years ago in 2011, I would have said, yep, TNA, definitely the number two. Uh, they're like the number freaking 46 now. I mean, bloody hell, they suck ass now. I mean, who cares about TNA anymore, honestly? I mean... 2011 was actually an alright year for them. Uh, 2005, TNA is never going to do better than what they did in 2005. 2005 was just magical for them. It was like their, their 15 minutes of fame. That's what 2005 was to TNA, basically. Uh, just amazing. Amazing. But TNA now, they suck. They're like number 48 uh, now. I said 46. I'm just making it low. Cause... Yeah, I'd say the number 2 now is... Probably New Japan for wrestling. Uh, I have seen a couple of New Japan. I'm not a big fan of it. Honestly, 99% of wrestling I watch is WWE. I mean, I don't really just watch wrestling for the matches, even though ROH is an exception for sure. But I do enjoy the spectacle of wrestling too. I enjoy the entertainment side of it, like the segments and such. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'd have to say New Japan is the new number two uh, now for wrestling. It's, getting, it's been getting pretty popular, actually. I mean, uh, AJ Styles just came from there. He's in WWE now. Shinsuke Nakamura, him too. Uh, a couple other guys still in New Japan are doing great. So, yeah. You guys know what I mean. So, alright. Uh, so, that answers that. Next question. Uh, question 15, Dream WrestleMania location. Uh, I know you guys are probably going to say, oh, you're just going to say New Zealand, obviously. Mm, no, I'm sorry, but New Zealand doesn't have, like, 
I mean, we do have like arenas and stadium, but nothing really that that would suit WrestleMania. And because we're so like far from the, we're like one of the less talked about countries basically. So WrestleMania in New Zealand wouldn't suit it. Uh, if they did come to New Zealand for WrestleMania, which is extremely highly unlikely, uh, good damn well I'm attending a live ringside seats, baby. But uh, I, I don't think Australia deserves WrestleMania either. I'm just saying. But my dream WrestleMania location, I was actually considering doing a a dream WrestleMania card actually, and with my dream venue included. And that's got to be Wembley Stadium, London, England. They would sell it in seconds. SummerSlam 1992. Did you hear that crowd? Oh my god. So yeah, they got to have, come on WWE, stop being so greedy. Having it in America all the time, no offense to Americans. Have WrestleMania at Wembley Stadium one day. Do it. You won't regret it, I promise. It'll be one of the best decisions you ever make. You might even sell out WrestleMania 3. Or WrestleMania 32 if it breaks the 100,000 record. You guys know what I mean. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, that's my answer to that question. Question number 16. Favorite WWE medal figure you own? Uh... I don't really uh, play with uh, figures anymore. I'm thinking of maybe collecting some of them eventually, but uh, I only had three uh, me uh, metal figures, uh, and they're all like broken now. <laughs> uh, and I had a wrestling ring with it too, like a toy wrestling ring, but uh, I covered that up in fake blood. Now it's pretty much ruined. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, out of those three, probably Triple H. Like I said, I only own three and they're pretty much broken now. Triple H, unfortunately, being broken. I have Big Show and Gold Dust as well. Those are the other two I have. Whatever. This question doesn't really mean that much to me, honestly. So we can move on now, basically. Uh, question number 17. If Triple H takes over the WWE, will the product be better or worse? That is an excellent question. And honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be better or worse, okay? Uh, when Vince McMahon dies, uh, uh, God forbid, like anytime soon, you know what I mean? Uh, of course, it, it's going to be Triple H who takes over. CM Punk said it himself back in 2011. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's my answer. I don't know. But that's a great question. Alright. Question number 18. Did John Cena really bury Bray Wyatt? I'm not just saying this because I'm a John Cena fan. But no, he did not bury Bray Wyatt, okay? Because Bray Wyatt. Ever since his match against John Cena at WrestleMania 30. Excellent match. Excellent storytelling. John Cena won the match, and I was happy that he won, for obvious reasons. But Bray Wyatt didn't get buried, because at WrestleMania 31, he fought The Undertaker. That is arguably the biggest, most popular wrestler in the history of the wrestling uh, business. He fought The Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. He fought Brock Lesnar. At the follow-up show to WrestleMania, uh, just a few days ago, that is not someone who got buried. Okay, facing those legends, you're not buried. Okay, and he's doing pretty well now with his character, with the White family. You know, I think he's gonna do something good, something pretty awesome at WrestleMania. Uh, we haven't. I don't know if maybe he'll be in the Battle Royal, but yeah. So no, Bray Wyatt was not buried for those reasons. Because he got to face such big name wrestlers afterwards, so no, he did not get buried. Okay, uh, in my opinion, of course. Uh, but yeah. And the twentieth and final question: Who is the future 
the future of the WWE. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with two picks here. Okay. I'm going to go with Seth Rollins, who is currently injured, and Sami Zayn. Okay, Sami Zayn, I think, could pick up where Daniel Bryan left off, honestly. He's like the closest thing to Daniel Bryan. Great, relatable character. Amazing technical wrestler. Can work well with lots of guys. Uh, and Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is awesome. Okay. He's phenomenal wrestler. Great heel for what he was uh, before he got injured. And... Uh, I think he's better than both Roman Reigns and uh, Dean Ambrose, honestly, by a long shot, actually. Uh, and I think he's just going to be awesome. I think he's the future of the business. Uh, there, there will be other big stars, too. You know, like uh, like Dean Ambrose, like I said, uh, and Roman Reigns, too, of course. That was, like, the whole point of the shield, basically. But uh, you guys know what I mean. So yeah, those are the two future guys of the WWE, Seth Rollins and Sami Zayn. El Genetico. Anyway, that was my uh, WWE Fan Challenge tag, everyone. Oh, this match went long. Match. <laughs> this video went way longer than I thought it would. 31 minutes. Oh my god. So, yeah, I'm going to end this now. As for the three people I want to tag... I'm gonna tag, of course I gotta tag this man, this kid, <laughs> uh, WWE fan of five nine nine. You are my best online friend, buddy. Uh, I know, I know you're gonna do this tag. I know you are. I'm actually doing uh, rest, some WrestleMania reviews with them, and I love doing them. So WWE fan of five nine nine, I tag you. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, second guy. Uh, I'm gonna tag uh, this. What's his name? What's his name? Wrestling Unlimited. Uh, this is a guy on the on the the guy who tagged me's video in the comments. He he. I, I actually I don't know this guy at all. It's just that he said nobody tagged me. You know, it's like, it looks like he really wants to be tagged uh, for this challenge video. So I want to tag him, helping the guy out. I tag you, Wrestling Unlimited, my friend, my new friend now. Uh, so you did. And the third guy I'm taking, not a, not like a huge wrestling fan. I'm just he will just. I know that he's just gonna write his answers in the comments. Some of, for some of them, uh, it's just that he. We've talked about wrestling a couple of times. I'm just curious to know some of his answers to these questions. That is Homer Power. He only does movie reviews. Basically, and vlogs, like school vlogs. I'm taking home power because I'm just curious to see some of his questions. 33 minutes now, oh my god. But, yeah, I take those three guys. WW Fan of 99, Wrestling Unlimited, Homer Power. So, yeah. Anyway, this, this video is almost 35 minutes long. This video is the same length as the John Cena CM Punk Money at the Bank 2011 match. Uh, so, I'm going to end this video now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tag. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later today uh, with my review of WrestleMania 17 with WWE Fan 9 And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.